The CDO of OpenAI, Sam Altman, has made some stunning statements about the upcoming GPT-5 model, which is expected to be the most powerful and versatile AI system ever created. In this video, we are going to explore and break down everything you need to know about GPT-5, what it can do, and what makes it special. So guys, sit back and let's delve in. For the tech newbies that are wondering what an open AI is, IDE's an artificial intelligence research organization that focuses on developing advanced AI technologies and making them accessible to the public. It was founded to ensure that the benefits of AI are distributed widely and used for the betterment of society. OpenAI is the mastermind behind insane projects like GPT-3 and 4, DALL-E2, and codex models that are so insanely powerful that they've been transforming the tech scene. As we all know, these AIs can write full-blown essays, generate memes on the fly, and even create websites, but that's just the beginning. Right now, OpenAI's current flagship model is GPT-4, released just a couple of months back in March 2023. This beast was a serious step up from GPT-3.5, GPT-4 is a large multimodal model which means it can accept both text and image inputs and produce text outputs. It can perform a variety of tasks such as writing essays, generating code, answering questions, creating images, and more. But it can also handle longer and more complex inputs and outputs than GPT-3.5, thanks to its larger memory and attention span. But trust me, GPT-4 is nothing compared to what GPT-5 will be able to do according to Sam Altman, OpenAI's CEO. GPT-5 is going to be a total game-changer, and today we're going to unpack what exactly he means by that. Let's go straight to it and see what makes GPT-5 amazing. First off, Sam Altman talked about removing the cap on the length of messages you can send to the model. With GPT-4, you're capped at 2048 tokens per message, which can be a bit limiting. But with GPT-5, you will be able to send unlimited messages to the model, which will allow them to interact with it more naturally and flexibly. For example, you will be able to have longer and more detailed conversations with the model, ask it to perform multiple tasks in a single message, or give it more complex and nuanced instructions. This feature will make the model more user-friendly and versatile. He also mentioned improving the mathematical calculations and logical reasoning because as awesome as GPT-4 is, it sometimes struggles with basic math and logic. But with GPT-5, that's not going to be a problem anymore. Altman said that the model will be able to handle these kinds of problems with ease and accuracy. Isn't that amazing? He further talked about reducing the AI's excessive apologies and self-deprecation. Because honestly, who needs an AI that keeps saying things like, I'm not very smart, I'm still learning more, please. So, with GPT-5, Altman said that the model will be more confident and assertive in its responses and only apologize when it's appropriate or necessary now. This is getting interesting. Also, GPT-5 will be better at remembering things and being consistent as present GPT-4 often forgets user inputs and can be inconsistent. For instance, it might say its favorite color is blue then later say it's green. But GPT-5, according to Altman, will remember more and respond more consistently. This will make it smarter and more tailored to individual users. The best part is that Altman hints and brags about the mind-blowing latest features of GPT-5 and why it's better than GPT-4. Take notes. He didn't reveal many details about these features, but he hinted that they will involve more modalities such as audio and video inputs and outputs. He also hinted that they will involve more interactivity such as voice recognition and synthesis of facial expression, emotion detection, and gesture control. He said that these features will make the model more immersive and engaging for users. Sam Altman works on GPT-5 for providing affordable education. Well, Sam Altman is not just any CEO. He's got a grand vision for AI and a passion for changing the world with AI from solving the world's biggest problems like climate change to revolutionizing education. He was one of the co-founders of Y Combinator, a startup accelerator that helped launch some of the most successful companies in Silicon Valley, such as Airbnb, Dropbox, Stripe, and Reddit. He was also one of the early investors in OpenAI, before becoming its CEO in 2019. 
One of the areas that Sam Altman is particularly passionate about is education. He believes that AI can revolutionize the way we learn and teach by providing personalized and interactive learning experiences for everyone. For example, he recently announced that OpenAI is working on a project called OpenAI Academy, which is a platform that will use GPT-5 to provide high-quality and affordable education for anyone who wants to learn anything. OpenAI Academy will allow users to access a variety of courses and topics ranging from math and science to music and art, and users will be able to interact with GPT-5 as their teacher, tutor, mentor, or friend and get feedback and guidance along the way. The interesting thing is that users will also be able to create their courses and share them with others. Altman said that OpenAI Academy will be launched in late 2023, and it will be free for anyone who wants to use it. But Sam Altman isn't just looking at the positive side of AI. He knows there are challenges and risks like biased privacy issues, and even existential threats that's why OpenAI is committed to being a responsible organization. They want to ensure AI is used ethically, respects everyone's autonomy and dignity, and benefits all of humanity. To make sure this vision becomes reality, OpenAI is willing to work with governments and regulators. They want to make sure AI is used lawfully and ethically. Altman even met with French President Emmanuel Macron recently to discuss the future of AI in Europe. They talked about how to regulate AI in a way that balances innovation and social welfare. So what's next for OpenAI and GPT-5? Holtman wants OpenAI to be at the forefront of AI and GPT-5 to be the most powerful AI system ever. He's aiming to make GPT-5 more versatile, adaptable, scalable, and accessible. He even said that GPT-5 could be ready for public release by mid-2024. That's just around the corner now. OpenAI and Altman aren't the only ones in the AI game. There are other big players like Google, Facebook, Microsoft, and more all working on their own AI systems. So, how does Altman handle this competition? Well, in his own words, he welcomes it as he thinks competition fosters innovation and progress, and ultimately the goal is to ensure AI technology benefits all of humanity. He's even open to collaborations with other organizations because he knows that tackling the grand challenges of AI, it's going to take a team effort. Moreover, Altman is fully aware of the importance of AI safety. He emphasizes that with the great power of AI, there also comes great responsibility. OpenAI is committed to ensuring that their AI technologies, including the upcoming GPT-5, are designed and deployed in a way that is safe and beneficial to all. They're investing heavily in AI safety research, creating guidelines for AI use, and even considering ways to make their AI refuse harmful instructions. Their vision for OpenAI is to lead by example in the field of AI ethics. They're striving for transparency in their work regularly by publishing most of their AI research, sharing safety policy and standards research, and inviting public input on the deployment policies. They want to hold themselves accountable and help shape a global consensus on AI ethics. Overall, OpenAI AI's future looks quite promising with GPT-5 live on the horizon and other exciting projects in the pipeline. They are set to redefine the AI landscape, and as Altman puts it, they're just getting started so stay tuned my friends because the best is yet to come. Alright guys, that wraps up our video for today. If you enjoyed our detailed look at what's ahead for OpenAI and GPT-5, give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more exciting videos. If you've got any questions or ideas, please drop them in the comment section below. Until next time, stay curious and keep exploring the world of AI.